How's it going guys? Um, today we're going to talk about some lures that you can use if you're just starting out. Maybe you just got a boat or you just got into fishing and your focus is more on catching something. You know, you, most times when you're starting out, you don't want to go out for a whole day and then come back with no fish. So we're going to talk about some lures you can use um, in that situation. So what you, what you want to do is get a couple of small lures um, chrome heads will do as well but you want something small that basically the smaller the lure the more chances you have of getting a bite um, if you look in even a big fish's stomach like a ahi a lot of the times um, there's really small bait in it so a small lure will increase your range of fish you could catch small akus with this and then you could also you could even potentially catch a large ahi with this. The key to this though is, even though you have a small lure, a lot of guys will run light line on a small lure like this, say 130 pound or, or lighter. If you're dragging on the ledge or something, or if I'm specifically targeting Akus, then I'll have my lure rigged with 130 pound fluorocarbon or 150 pound fluorocarbon. But if I'm, um, let's say, if I'm out in the deep and there's potential of Ahi being around, then I like to have at least a 200 or a 220 pound, again, fluorocarbon meter. And I don't know why, for some reason, guys like to use and I use as well fluorocarbon when I'm chasing Akus even though for the most part I haven't found that fluorocarbon helps you much when you're chasing Ahis so if it's the dead of summer and you, you're trying to catch Ahis and you see a pile of Aku um, then you, you definitely want a bigger leader and then again I would go 220 fluorocarbon or 200 fluorocarbon because if you hook a Ahi on 130 pound liter fluorocarbon or even regular liter you're gonna have a hell of a time um actually landing that fish so i cannot tell you how many stories i've heard of guys running their aku lures and then a big ahi grabs it and you're always almost always gonna lose it right at the boat when you actually can see the fish because that's when you got the most pressure on the leader and that's when the leader normally breaks on you so if you got 200 or 220, it'll still give you a fighting chance to land that big ahi if um, one bites. But again, if you're trying to catch akus, that bigger leader is going to um, have you get less bites on, on the aku. Yeah. So um, going back to if you're just starting out, you'll want to run a couple of 5-inch lures. And then you'll want to run this lure will basically catch you anything anything that swims um so you can use it for smaller aku or aku and i i have a lot of guys who catch big ahis on on a lure like this smaller but um still very effective for for general fishing i i guess you would say like uh they're just out there trying to catch fish so if you're running the ledge i would run two five inch lures and then or and maybe a seven or something like that so the overall thought is to run smaller baits so that you get more chances of bites from eat from both small and big fish so if you again if you're just starting out and you you're trying to increase your bites and you're not targeting something then smaller lures will work really well for you 